I love how we have traveled the world together. I really wasn't expecting the proposal right then, only because I had been so miserable. It was so cold, it was so wet, it was so rocky on the water. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me, and you compliment me perfect to me. I am truly so incredibly excited to become your wife. Our love is like truly life's greatest adventure, and I'm so excited to start our life together. The night that uh, I met Abby down at Max Tavern, I actually wasn't living downtown anymore. I was living up here, and uh, a guy I work with at Deloitte was leaving the company, so it was a little informal going away party, and uh, it happened to be on Friday, February 14th, 2014. For any guys out there that don't know, that is Valentine's Day every year. Um, so we happened to go out to the bars, and. Uh, Later in the night, probably around midnight or later, after I had uh, served myself well, I uh, ran into her and started talking to her. I was the DD, so completely sober, hadn't had a drink all night, but since I could get the real glass glasses at the bar, my friends always had me go and order the drinks at the bar. So I was standing at the bar waiting to order drinks, and this very drunk guy approached me and I thought to myself, please just don't talk to me. You know, I wasn't in the meeting new people mood, so he did. He talked to me and he told me that I was too pretty to be waiting in line for a drink at the bar. So he parted everybody out of the way for me so that I could get up to the front of the bar. He gave me his phone number so that I would be the one that was responsible for texting him the next day. So I did finally decide to text him. I had to be convinced by my friends and my mom. I thought it was too cliche that I should meet somebody in a bar on Valentine's Day. It's never gonna work out, so what's the point in texting him? And they told me that it was worth a shot. Who cares if you only go on one date? You might as well. So I did, and the rest is history. I knew there's definitely a possibility of a long future with her when her uncle had unexpectedly passed away. And I knew how much it hurt me to see how badly she was hurting. And that's when I that's when I knew like wow I you know I, I, I really have feelings for her. been so supportive and loving and understanding and patient in those times and I think that it just proves that he's definitely the one.
funny and goofy, um, but also serious. And he's finally starting to be a little bit more emotional and open up a little bit more as we've gotten engaged and been planning the wedding. The last four years have been the happiest of my life. We have grown more in love than I ever thought possible. Our travels have been great adventures and shown us the world where our greatest adventure is about to begin. I love that you are my last kiss before I go to bed at night and my first kiss every morning. Our love is like truly life's greatest adventure and I'm so excited to start our life together as husband and wife. Seventy days ago, we were standing in a bar, and I made a pinky promise to you. A promise was simple, that I would text you the next day to set up our first date. 1,194 days later, I made another promise, this time in saying yes when you asked me to marry you. out there in the world and so much more to experience and I'm glad that I found somebody that values other places and other cultures and other people and food and all of that as much as I do. Chocolate. Avant de descendre, assurez-vous de ne rien oublier à bord. There's a big world out there and you know, we want to see it all.